All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna uh, go over a couple questions here. Let's jump right into it. Do you make a Glock 47 holster? Um, yeah, it's it's a Glock 17. So really all Glock did was take a 19X frame and throw a 17 slide on it. Um, otherwise it's a Glock 17. So it's gonna fit in the Glock 17 holster all the same. <clears throat> all right, moving on. Do you offer multicam Kydex for holsters? Uh, yeah. We make it. We've got it. It's in stock now. We've got a bunch of it. Here it is. It's good looking stuff. Um, yeah, we're ready to run. So place your order and, and we'll get it cranked out for you. All right. Uh, TLR1 HL. Does it fit in a TLR1 holster? Yeah, absolutely. So we make everything for the TLR1 HL. Um, <clears throat> that being said, you know, there, there are some tolerance we see it as issues it's not really an issue um you know from a, a usage standpoint on y'all's side but as far as fitment you know where where it concerns us for holsters um you know we can see a fluctuation of like 20 to 25 thou difference um in height on a tlr1 you know depending on which which batch it was made from so different serial numbers you know as the years progress that streamlight's been making them um, you can get one TLR1 that'll fit real tight in the holster and then another one, you know, that's real loose. So depending on when your streamlight was made, you may have to tighten it up a little bit or adjust it, you know, loose, loosen it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, but everything is test fit here. We test it with like our smaller end, our medium size, and then our larger end uh, variations on our TLR1s. So we make sure that everything's, everything's good before it leaves the shop. But you know, aside from that, yeah, you may have to, depending on which streamlight, you know, which TLR one you have, when it was made, you may have to just give it a little quarter turn on the screws, um, you know, on the adjustment screws for your retention. So, but, uh, but yeah, absolutely, they do fit.